I'll do it here now because seven will be too too big. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> this is a huge difference. Vector versus Luna. Yes, Luna is uh, coming soon, guys, and uh, it is actually on Kickstarter. And I want to give you the details because I was looking forward to seeing this robot. And like I said, it's coming very, very, very soon. So I'm doing this video on September 19th, and you will see here the pricing and the special, the special deals are still available. So let's have a look here. This is the front page of the Kickstarter campaign for Luna. And look at the first sentence. She is so playful and affectionate, you will forget she is a robot. She. Unlike previous robots, we have a she this time. So I want to look first at the deals on the right side of the screen here. So as you can see here, they have more than 2,000 backers. There is 41 days to go. So hopefully you see this video before the end of the 41 days. And looking at the deals over here, the first one is still available at $2.99. And they said the regular price will be $4.49, which varies all the time on Kickstarter. They tend to inflate the pricing a little bit to make you see that, oh, this is an amazing deal. I'm going to buy it right away. But my guess is the final price will probably be $3.99, not $4.49. So the special deal at $2.99, as of today, there's still $629 left. Now, you can go to 349 and there is no limit, I believe, for this one here. So this will be there for the full 41 days, I am assuming. And the next deal is at 549 Well, that's for two robots. They have a deal also for four robots, and so on. And unfortunately, I was on the road a few days ago when the campaign started, and I missed the very good deal, which is this one right here. And it says, all gone. 249 US the first two hours I was on the road so I missed that it's a big Kickstarter campaign I have 33 slides to show so here they have a lot of videos uh, there is one here where they say meet Luna and uh, they say it's a pet a robot and a friend and apparently Luna can fetch a ball so we have here um, they show here uh, petting uh, the robot on the chin and on the head. And look at the size here. We're going to look at the specs in a few, uh, in a couple of minutes. But look at, look at the hand. Look at the size of the robot. It's much bigger than what we have seen so far. Uh, we have here Luna's perception. So face recognition, body detection, movement recognition, gesture recognition, object recognition emotion recognition, edge detection, trajectory planning, and voice recognition. I'll talk about each of those in the next, uh, in the next uh, screenshots. So face recognition here, you can see uh, they show a video here, but it's a still image I'm showing here, and also body detection. Uh, from what I can see, it looks like Luna will be able to follow you if you walk. Like the robot is big enough to be on the floor. Unlike Emo and Vector. Vector is a desktop or a table robot. Uh, I did a, video, a few videos showing Vector on the floor. But I was basically showing that Vector is too small to put on the floor. But Luna seems to be possible. Chester recognition. So maybe... Uh, they don't see it now, but this could be implemented in the future. Like when you do this, I forgot here, yeah, like that. Oh, yeah, I'm not very good at gesture. Something like that, and then Luna will take a picture. It's not there yet, but I'm sure this will be uh, coming. 3D motion capture, again, walking, so that uh, Luna can follow you as you walk. That, like I said, I remain, remains to be seen how this will work. It, uh, Luna has four microphones, not only two, so she should be good at knowing where the sound or the voice is coming from. I can see like you're sitting in the living room and you say, Luna, come here. And she's over there and she knows where to go. So that would be cool. 
voice recognition, of course. Uh, she has uh, obviously a camera. Now here, path planning. I wish this works well because imagine you have a living room, you have chairs, and Luna will be able to map the area knowing that, oh, there's a chair over there, and then she puts that in her memory. So next time that she goes around, she avoids the chair, and she doesn't need to stop and again scan the area. So that would be cool. Edge detection, obviously, if she is on a, on a table. Uh, motion recognition, and I said before, fetching. This is part of Luna being able to fetch a ball, so motion uh, recognition. She has a brushless motors, which is very good. They talk about her personality, pleasure, anger, sorrow, and joy. They show only four, but she said they say here, using her legs, ears, and eyes, Luna has over 700 expressions. Here are some of them. And this is also the different thing about Luna. She has more than just the eyes to express expression, to show expressions. She has also the ears. And I'm showing a still picture here, but if you go to the website, the Kickstarter website, you will see videos and you can see the ears are going all over the place. So she can also express um, emotions with her ears, which is very, very cool. They show here Luna roams agile in your house. Hopefully she'll be good at uh, obstacle detection. Uh, what else here? Lots of videos on the Kickstarter uh, website. Now they have a picture here showing the tech behind Luna. The processor is a Cortex-A53. That's a well-known processor, 1.5 gigahertz. The coprocessor is an M4, Cortex, again, I don't know the M4, I cannot comment on it. It's an audio processor, obviously. So, uh, good. Oh, and here you have the specs. And I want to focus here, first of all, on the dimensions. Look at that. 8 inches long, or 21 centimeters. 7 inches wide, or 17 centimeters. Almost 7 inches high, or 17 centimeters. 7 inches! And I want to show you here, this is vector. We have vector over here. I'm going to show you to use here the side camera. And uh, let me see here, this is vector. And vector is about two and a half inches tall. Two and a half, seven inches. I'll do it here now because seven will be too, too big. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> this is a huge difference vector versus Luna and if I take Emo Emo is taller of course Emo is four inches tall so this is seven so this is the height of Luna compared to Emo so Luna is big 2.4 pounds <laughs> 1.1 kilo this is a big robot there's a lot of stuff of 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 sensors and you know like stuff in the robot the display her face is 2.4 inches 2.4 inches is about uh, um, one two three four five six seven about seven six seven centimeters the camera is 720p unfortunately <coughs> excuse me not 1080, 1080 but 720 brushless motors like i said the uh, battery is 1350. They do not see in the whole text here uh, what will be the duration of Luna with this battery, 1350. So hopefully, hopefully, like it's more than half an hour. So here they have a video on uh, Have Fun with Luna. She has games. You can see here Knowledge Quiz, Remote FPV, Luna's Inner World, Fun Racing. Dancing with music, box of tricks, fetching, and good habits. And I'm sure that they will add games on a regular basis. They say so actually down here. So create with Luna. And this is interesting. Like Cosmo, you will be able to program um, movements, behaviors, just like with Cosmo, with Luna, using the uh, scratch-like um, um, coding language on your on the app 
and then here I want to focus on this here lunar simulators and animator editor so through lunar simulator and character editor you can edit Luna's action expression voice and interaction from her various sensors this must this just makes creativity simpler so we're planning to release in June 2023 there's also a home assistant uh, to be released in April 2023 and the SDK so people will be able to program behaviors and different things with the SDK which will at some point be available now remote control through the app you can use the uh, Luna the robot as a remote control and they show here a picture of the app and um, and they say keep an eye on your pet and they show a picture of Luna looking at your dog in your bedroom or study or den best friend cool they show a picture of the app the app is not available yet it will it's going to be available in November more on that in a minute so you can see here a picture of the app available for uh, for Apple and uh, and Google devices or Android devices the OTA updates these are over the air updates and there is here a sentence I'm going to read we provide OTA updates to users for free and there will be no subscription needed obviously the people in that company are aware of people complaining about vector and having to pay a subscription or a membership to have vector connected to the server the DDL servers so uh, yeah they say no subscription needed for updates now they hear there is here something interesting there's a Christmas gift it's not a gift you have to pay for it so they're funny <laughs> Christmas delivery so if you want your Luna to be delivered by air from China it's a Chinese I think it's a Chinese company they don't say the location but I think it's in China uh, not not Taiwan so 65 US dollars for somebody like me this is $100 of Air Express to get my Luna before Christmas a lot of money uh, I'm not sure I would I would pay that so um, oh here they show again at the end uh, they show uh, the deals like I said before the 299 and the 349 the deals for two or four uh, robots and then they show here what's in the box you get Luna a user manual a warranty card and a type C cable and this is my bad news here about Luna there is something missing there is a cable to charge the robot but what is missing is the cradle charger like we have seen for vector and Cosmo so it is additional money look at that a charging dock um, the Kickstarter price is $29.99 um, so you have to pay extra to get the charger I'm assuming that Luna will go by herself to the charger when her battery is low I'm assuming it doesn't say here in the text so oh no it does I missed that she automatically goes back when she needs to recharge <coughs> excuse me when she needs to recharge her energy we can add Luna's charging dock to your order and enjoy the biggest Kickstarter discount to receive it before April 2023 so the charger will be available later April 2023 um, and finally the company here uh, not finally there's something after but it's KI technology they don't say where they are located I'm assuming China have a picture here of the crew and um, in case you did not know about KI the this is the company behind Clickbot and you must have seen Click, Clickbot I almost bought one um, almost did videos about Clickbot but well in the end I didn't a couple of things came up and uh, I never uh, got to do uh, to do it I would like to comment also on Elik. I was going to uh, get Elik, but and I'm glad I didn't because I'm sure you saw a few videos on YouTube. Uh, Elik is cheaper. It is smaller. It is on the dock. It doesn't. It. I think it's a she. She doesn't move. She looks like uh, Eva or Eve in uh, in Wally. -E. 
was that Eva or Eve? I forgot now. In Wally, uh, the movie. So yeah, she doesn't move. So uh, it's more for younger kids, and um, I decided not not to buy it. Uh, manufacturing process here. This show a picture of the plant, and look at that. They are, as we speak, making robots. Now let's have a look at the timeline. That is this is very important. So May 2021 is when they started the concept design. Now we're in September 2022. We have design verification testing. We have launch on Kickstarter. And then in we have second trial run. October, we have production verification testing. Mass production starts. November, we have shipping begins. And November, we have Luna app releases. So it looks like in November, that's two months from now, they will start shipping Luna and the app will be available. Cool. And then the last slide, I believe, is yeah, this one here. Follow uh, Ki, uh, KI Tech on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and they have a website here, kirobot.com. So, guys, this is it. Um, to me, the big thing is the size of the robot. The, this robot can be on the floor. Uh, she can move around your living room. You put the charger, the, the docking station, in a corner, she will go by herself. Uh, remains to be seen, though, if you have a big space. If she's far away and the charger is over there, will she be able to find it? Hmm. This will be interesting to, uh, to see. So there is a lot more I would like to say, but I don't want the video to be too long. Uh, seven inches tall, this is like... This is like amazing. Like this is this high here. This high. This height. More than two pounds. 1.1 kilo. Amazing. Uh, the app will be free. Updates will be free. No subscription. Um, regular price of 449 is a little high in my opinion. But like I said, I don't think that will be the final price. I'm expecting more like 399, I think. That's my uh, opinion. So guys, let me know please what you think of Luna in the comments below. I'd like to have your opinion. And um, unlike what we have seen in the past, this is interesting because we have the Kickstarter campaign in September and we have shipments in November. I've never seen this. Two months later, we will have robots shipping. We will see uh, what uh, happens. Thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.